10 a.m. Central Daylight Time, 1500 UTC. The center of Tropical Storm Harvey was located near latitude 16.8 north, longitude 87.6 west. Harvey is moving toward the west near 12 miles per hour, and this motion is expected to continue for the next day or two. On the forecast track, the center of Harvey will move inland over Belize this afternoon, then move into northern Guatemala tonight. Reports from an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicate that maximum sustained winds are near 60 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Some strengthening is possible today, and Harvey could become a hurricane before landfall in Belize. Steady weakening is forecast after landfall. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 45 miles mainly to the north of the center. The minimum central pressure estimated from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft data is 998 millibars, 29.47 inches. Here's the tropical weather outlook. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on Tropical Storm Harvey, located about 35 miles west-northwest of Rhode Hunters. A large tropical wave is located about 400 miles east of the Lesser Antilles, moving westward to west-northwestward at about 20 miles per hour. The associated shower activity shows signs of organization, and surface observations indicate that pressures are low in the area. However, there is no evidence of a surface circulation at this time. Slow development of this system is likely, and a tropical depression could form over the next couple of days. This system has a high chance, 80%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. Interests in the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico should monitor the progress of this disturbance. Locally heavy rain and gusty winds are likely over the Lesser Antilles later today through Sunday, and over the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico by Sunday night. An Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate this system later this afternoon, if necessary. A large and elongated area of low pressure centered over the Cape Verde Islands is producing disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity. The low is moving into an area of upper level winds and sea surface temperatures that are less conducive for development. This system has a medium chance, 40%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. Locally heavy rains and gusty winds should continue to affect parts of the Cape Verde Islands through the rest of today. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of south-central Arkansas, southwest Arkansas, north-central Louisiana, northwest Louisiana, southeast Oklahoma, east Texas and northeast Texas. For today and tonight, very hot conditions will persist this afternoon with heat index values between 105 and 110 degrees across all of the four state regions. A heat advisory remains in effect through Saturday. Precautions should be taken to prevent heat-related illnesses if time is spent outdoors or in an insufficiently cold building. Also, a few very isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible this afternoon and evening, and any storms that develop will be capable of producing strong and even damaging wind gusts. For the period Sunday through Friday, temperatures are expected to climb above the century mark area-wide through at least the middle part of the work week. Heat indices may also reach or exceed 105 degrees, making outdoor activities potentially dangerous if proper precautions are not taken to prevent heat-related illnesses. Spotter activation will not be needed today or tonight. A heat advisory remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time this evening. Timing. Heat index values will range from 105 to 110 degrees Saturday afternoon. Impact. The risk for heat-related illnesses will be present, especially for those who work or play outdoors, and for those who are in inadequately cold buildings. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. When possible, reschedule strenuous activities to early morning. Know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Wear lightweight and loose fitting clothing when possible, and drink plenty of water. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. You are listening to Weather Radio, Station WXK36, broadcasting a Tyler on 162.475 MHz. 
here to look at local weather conditions. As of 11 a.m., at the top of the hour, skies were mostly sunny in Tyler. The temperature was 96 degrees at the regional airport. The dew point was 65, making the relative humidity 35 percent, producing a heat index of 98. Winds were southwest at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.95 inches and rising. In Longview, skies were mostly sunny, with a temperature of 98 degrees. The dew point was 65, making the relative humidity 33 percent, producing a heat index of 101. Winds were west at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.93 inches and rising. Once again at Tyler, it was 96 degrees with mostly sunny skies at 11 a.m. Around the local area at 11 a.m. in Terrell, sunny at 97. Wind southwest at 12 miles an hour. DSW Airport, mostly sunny at 97. Wind southwest at 10 miles an hour. Paris, sunny at 99. Wind west at 14 miles an hour. Texarkana, mostly sunny at 96. Wind southwest at 7 miles an hour. Shreveport, partly sunny at 98 degrees. Wind west at 9 miles an hour. Jacksonville, sunny at 91 degrees. Wind southwest at 6 miles an hour. Palatine, sunny at 97 degrees. Wind south at 10 miles an hour. And the course at Camelot, sunny at 97 degrees. Wind southwest at 8 miles an hour. Elsewhere across the four state region, Oklahoma City, mostly sunny at 96. Little Rock, partly sunny at 87. Jackson, Mississippi, mostly sunny at 91. Baton Rouge, mostly sunny at 89. And at Houston, mostly sunny at 91 degrees. Now let's check on your local forecast. Heat advisory in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time this evening, this afternoon. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Becoming partly cloudy. Highs around 108. Salt winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highest heat index readings around 109 in the afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy. Lows around 80. Salt winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs around 105. Salt winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heat index readings 101 to 104. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Salt winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Partly cloudy. Highs around 104. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Highs around 104. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, lows in the upper 70s. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 103. Wednesday night, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 70s. Thursday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 103. Thursday night, partly cloudy, lows in the upper 70s. Friday, partly cloudy. Highs around 102. Here is your area's open water boating forecast. Broadcast at the top and bottom of the hour. Gusts may be higher. Today, partly cloudy. Salt winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy. Salt winds around 10 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy. Salt winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Shifting to the southeast. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southwest to the late evening. Monday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Partly cloudy. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tuesday, partly cloudy. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour, shifting to the northeast late in the afternoon. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour, shifting to the south late in the evening, then shifting to the southwest after midnight. Thursday, partly cloudy. West winds around 10 miles per hour, shifting to the north in the afternoon. Thursday night, partly cloudy. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the east in the late evening.